What is going on y'all? My name is Gravely and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at a build that actually rewards you for having skill. And yes, I know it sounds a little weird that something will actually reward you for being good at the game, especially when Bungie literally called grenade launchers skill shot weapons. By the way, they're not. If you think they are, I, I, don't, I don't even know what to tell you. But before I go on a full-blown rant about special ammo GLs, let's get back to the build. So what makes this build actually take skill is three things. Bottom Tree Gunslinger, Hawk Moon, and a Theory's Embrace. Now starting off with Bottom Tree Gunslinger, many of you guys probably already know why this is such a skillful subclass. It heavily relies on you hitting critical shots in order to activate Practice Makes Perfect as well as knock them down. But on top of being precise with your weapon, you also get the Weighted Knife Melee, which will allow you to one-shot other Guardians, but only if you hit them in the head. So it's fairly obvious to see that in a skillful player's hands, this is one of the strongest subclasses in the entire game. Moving on from the subclass, let's talk about the Hawkmoon and why I chose it for this build. Now I'm sure many of you guys already know how Hawkmoon works, but basically it works off a paracausal charge system where every headshot or final blow that you get will build up a paracausal charge. Once you build your paracausal charge to a 6 or a 7 stack, you can one shot other guardians. And then finally, the reason that I chose the Aetheri's Embrace to pair with the Hawkmoon is because by getting 3 precision shots with your hand cannon, you actually charge up your Aetheri's Embrace, which allows your throwing knife to one shot to the body, so these are directly rewarding you for hitting precision hits. But yeah, I'm sure you guys get the build by now, anyways, let's head into the Crucible. I'm really not feeling Wormhaven today, but it is what it is, we'll see how it goes, there's a guy up here. Is he going to pop out? Should be able to get the nice 3 tap. Never mind, that guy took the kill. Got him though. I actually have my uh, charge throwing knife now. It doesn't show it, but I do have it. I can probably just... No, dude, I wanted to throw it. Okay, it's going to kill him. No, it's not? What? I think I just got screwed by the game. I don't know what that was. Got the 3 tap on that guy. I should have the charge throwing knife. I actually don't have a throwing knife at the moment, though. I can probably bank shot this guy. Oh, that is so... Oh, no, it hit his barricade, dude. It would have killed him. Oh my god. But as you guys saw, it was a lot of damage. Probably three tap this guy if he peeks again. Nice, dude. I actually don't have my throwing knife at the moment. I might just dodge near this guy and just hit him with a nasty bank shot. If that hits him, okay, that was a little bit too much. Uh, that would have took a little bit too much luck. I do have enough for a one tap with Hawkmoon, though. If there's a guy outside, I can just quickly uh, the one tap. Okay, he was already low enough where it didn't really matter. I would have rather one tapped this guy over here instead. I do have a pretty good angle on him. Nice. There's somebody coming from over here. I do have to be a little bit careful. That dude was lasering me. That could have been really, really bad. I think I have... Okay, I do have strength and heavy knife again. I need to actually get my knife to use it, though. There's a guy back here. Ooh, I was looking the complete wrong direction. I do have a five stack of Theracuzzle. So if somebody's a little weak, I can one-tap them. But I can't one-tap their entire health bar. This guy right here is already a little bit weak. This guy's not. That was a lot of damage, though. Okay, got him with the Hawkmoon. Nice. Oh, there's a player down here. I do have to be a little bit careful. Ooh, that was really bad. There's a guy who just spawned back there as well. I feel like this map has, like, the same problem as Convergence. Wherever you die, you just, like, spawn so far away from everybody else. Is this guy seriously not going to challenge? Okay, never mind. He's going... Dude, no! Oh, whoa! I thought he... Oh, my God, dude. Nah, I'm not happy with that at all. 2,000 years later. No, I'm not having that, bro. Not having that at all. Oh, my God. There's a guy over here. I might be able to bop. And then another guy behind me. Got him as what? Wait a minute. What? Hold up. Okay, never mind. That guy was just lagging really hard. Okay, what even was that, dude? Like, you're telling me the golden gun didn't kill him, but that did? Okay, that's really odd. The guy right here, he's going to try to slam me. I'm going to escape, though, because he's not quick enough. A player did just spawn behind me. I can probably throwing knife him. Nice, dude. Okay. I haven't gotten any one taps with the throwing knife, unfortunately. I just haven't really had an opportunity. I've been using them pretty well, though, so it is what it is. I'm honestly going to push towards this heavy ammo right here. Okay, th this guy actually had no idea. He was just pretty clueless right there. I'm going to snag the heavy and just... I think I'm just going to waste it, honestly. Actually, this guy's coming through. I'm just going to hit him with the sword just because, you know... I really hate rumble matches that take this long, dude, because I just can't find anybody. Everybody's just camping in the back of the map, which honestly really really sucks this is the crimson player of course this guy's not gonna i'm not even gonna bother wasting my time on him it's actually really really annoying there should be people over here nice dude got that kill this guy's over here as well hawk moon him nice there's another guy behind me it's a titan player gg 
Yeah, if somebody's sitting in the back of the map like that, it's honestly not even worth pursuing the kill. Uh, GG. All right, boys, I'm playing on Dead Cliffs for the 15th time today. I swear to God, I get this map way too often. Like, is, is, is there like an increased chance? I don't understand. Somebody jumping up through here, got him with the slug. Awesome. There's a guy over here as well. To be able to swap to the slug. Nice. Player over here by the door. Got him with Hawk Moon. I think, uh, oh, I had it charged. Okay, it didn't say it, but I did have the uh, strength and heavy knife. So I was actually able to one tap that. Oh no, dude, I had to reload. No. I'm so used to wearing Dragon Shadow where I don't have to reload any of my weapons because the dodge automatically does it for you. And I guess Marksman's Dodge would do that, but I really just don't want to run Marksman's Dodge. I prefer Gambler's. And wow, I thought I headshot him. For real though, I really do need to break that bad habit because I do that a lot and it's really just not good. There's a guy right here. Got him with the slug. Awesome. Another guy over there as well. Oh, that... Oh, man. I really don't care what anybody has to say. Celestial Fire is by far the most broken melee in the entire game. Just the, like, the sheer regeneration ability it has is just so stupid, in my opinion. Like, I, I don't know. It just takes all the skill out of Top 3 Dawnblade, which is... I know some people are going to get mad at me for saying that, but I really just think Top 3 Dawnblade is not the hardest thing in the world because of that, uh, the melee being that strong. But, I mean, I don't know. This player right here. Got him with the Hawk Moon. Nice, dude. I even... I said I killed him before I actually did. I just knew he was dead. Okay, there's somebody over here. I don't know if he's going to come through bottom. I'm not in the greatest spot. I really have to be a little bit careful, at least. Oh, this is perfect. I'm right behind this guy. Got him with the slug. Awesome. I feel like I've said awesome way too many times this game. That was a nice one tap with Hawk Moon right there. I feel like it, sometimes it's a little bit hard to, like, think of commentary on the fly. So, like, a lot of, uh, a lot of commentary... Uh... <laughs> Today, Junior! As I was saying before, forgetting how to speak English, a lot of people forget, like, I don't know, they forget, like, if they said a word too much, and they just keep doing it, which I feel like I've done quite a few times, but it is what it is. I can't really help it. Ooh, Lord of Wolves. Actually, I think this is the uh, Lord of Wolves. He has Lord of Wolves and Fighting Lion. Wait, no, 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 that's just the GL. He's running double special? No, that's, okay, that's not the Lord of Wolves guy, okay? I was just wrong. There must be, like, two players in this lobby that, like, look the exact same or something, because... That was really weird, because I, I could have sworn that guy had, like, Lord of Wolves, and then I saw him pull out a, a GL, which I was like, what? Because you can't run... I guess you could run Lord of Wolves in GL. That would just be a really, really bad idea. I'm not going to lie. I actually do want to go for a one-tap with Hawkmoon, so if somebody does pop up, I'm going to farm two Paracausals off him. Nice, dude. I do have a, enough Paracausal to get a one-tap, so if somebody pops up through there... Uh, I don't want to one-tap him. He's already weak. You know, I'm going to wait for him to regen and then one tap him because it's just not going to be satisfying enough if he's at full health or if he's not at full health. You know what I mean? Peek this. You won't. Okay. Okay, dude. I actually missed the one tap because somebody else was shooting at him, which really sucks. It is what it is, though. I'm going to three peek him with this dodge. This guy's right over here. Oh, that's a Dawn Blade. Okay, I have to be really careful. Which way is he going to come through? He's coming through the back. Okay, I'm going to go out this way. Completely got the juke move on this dude. Ah, nice, bro. Another really good game right there. Anyways, that is pretty much all the gameplay that I have for today's video. I know Hawkmoon did kind of end up stealing the show. I would have liked to get a little bit more action with the Ethereum Embrace, but overall, I had a lot of fun using this build, and I actually might use this more in the future. But as always, if you guys did enjoy this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you left a like and a comment letting me know what you thought. And if you really enjoyed this video and are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Anyways, it's been Gravely. Peace.